Yo, what is up, Bakery, and welcome back to the YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going through my mouse and keyboard settings, which also, if you're on controller, this could be good for you, but I'm going through my mouse and keyboard settings for season five and beyond. So my settings have really not changed too much. There are some really big settings in here, though, that you do need to make sure you have on, especially if you're coming from default settings, uh, or if you've never actually hit on your settings before, this video is good for you. In the background now, you'll see my quick settings going, so you can pause the video at any time. You can make sure that you have the settings that you need without actually going in depth if you want to go in depth or find the perfect sensitivity for you make sure you stick around for the rest of the video because i do go super in depth on why i'm using some things and the way to get better fps if you're on a lower build pc or if you're on console that kind of thing so make sure you stick around for that if you need it but other than that enjoy the video and i hope this helps you out also don't forget to like and subscribe please thank you Okay, so if you're still here in this video, you've made it past our quick part of the video, and you probably want a more in-depth guide to why you're choosing some of these settings, and basically a way to get better frames or FPS out of your build. So before we get to that part of the video, I'm going to show you guys how to find the perfect sensitivity for you on the keys. This is also good for controller as well, but this is mainly built for the keys. Now, what I recommend people to do if they don't have a sensitivity already picked out is run four sensitivity on an 800 DPI. That is the you know baseline, generally what people use around the average and once you find that sensitivity that's good for you you're going to want to go into the firing range and try to track bots move left or right and see if you can keep your crosshair on the bots now if you are able to do this now if you want to make it a little bit more advanced you can move up to the counters back and forth if you can't track the bots properly what i would recommend you do is move your sensitivity down now if you can't track it properly you're going from left to right you can see yourself going all over the place that's probably because your sensitivity is too high you know you're moving your mouth too much something like that i would recommend just moving your sensitivity down until you find a spot where you're able to track them a little bit more and this is to the baseline that you want it to be it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect you know at some point your crosshair is going to go off the bots but if it feels good to you then it's probably good and you can into a game if you can't track your opponent move your sensitivity down i'm on 3.87 on 800 dpi okay so moving out of the sensitivity portion of the video now we're heading into the settings so speaking of sensitivity my mouse sensitivity is 3.87 i've had the same sensitivity for four years once you find yours you could leave yours the same too the only two things that you change under here are the ground vehicle sensitivity multiplier and the air kill streak sensitivity multiplier put those both on two when you're using kill streaks and stuff it'll be easier to move your mouse around and when you're in a vehicle you could do that third person peek a lot faster those will both be on two the others you could leave on one after that the ads sensitivity multiplier is big you're going to want to put this on 0.85 or 0.9 depending on what your sensitivity is uh this basically means when you aim down your sights and you find your target you're aiming at them it'll slow your sensitivity down depending on what this multiplier is and this is good because when you find your target when you've aimed down on them you want it to be slower because you're already there you know you don't have to whip around while you're aiming down your sights because once you're aiming down your your, your crosshair should be on your opponent so i use 0.85 that's what i recommend to people you could also try 0.9 both of those are really good values you leave this to one and gradual on that little drop down for your ads sense multiplier focus leave that on whatever you put your ads sense multiplier on so mine's on 0.85 uh, if you did 0.9 leave that on 0.9 your ads sensitivity type leave that to relative and your monitor distance coefficient should be 1.33 even if you use 1440p i'm on 1440p and use 1.33 leave that the same custom sensitivity per zoom you could click that off even though my drop down say 0.85 doesn't change anything just leave that to off it shouldn't it shouldn't change anything and the rest should all be standard regular settings so we'll move on to key bindings here and your key bindings are very big i mean this is like the life of mouse and keyboard this is the buttons that you're clicking it's the twister you're playing on your keyboard and a lot of the settings that i use are default however there are a few that i change and you will know when i change one if it has that orange dot beside it but i'll run through those with you right now so binding preview you don't have to mess with that key binds preset that'll be custom and then your system key behavior that's your operating system so my move forward wsad all you know regular walk i don't have a bound walk key this is something that's really big for controller but you can't really take advantage of this on the keyboard because there's no differences between clicking a button down once or you know clicking it down a little there's no differences there the walk key just should be unbound uh your auto move forward key a lot of people don't know that this exists it's auto bound to h i left mine on h uh you know sometimes my hand will fall asleep and i'll just kind of stretch it and whatnot and click h and i'll just run forward automatically if you need to go use the bathroom but the zone's on your back you could auto run into the zone with h go use the bathroom but i don't know why you do that honestly just hold your hold your pee uh jump stand mantle that's on space prone and dive that's left control a lot of people may either use left control for this or c or z so find what feels good for your hands if your hands are bigger uh mine are bigger i use left control but that's whatever honestly just preference uh my crouch and slide is c and say you used you know prone and dive with c or z you would change 
change this depending but again mine c it's the best key for me personally because my thumb is able to easily hit it my sprint and tactical sprint most everyone leaves this to shift and then this is the only thing that i've changed so far so my interact is e that means the things that i open up doors with when i get into a vehicle i click e the default line for this is f uh but i actually use f to ping we'll get that in a second it's at the bottom of the list here but i like e for this key this is preference though if you like f use f my open parachute it's base as well you won't need to mess with the movement advanced key bind so don't worry about that fire weapon we got left click and right click for aim down sights reload is r obviously leave that to r that's very innate uh next weapon here is two so a lot of people use scroll wheel for this and the default bind for this will actually be scroll wheel up or scroll wheel down depending uh i use two you could use some of the numbers if you want the reason i don't use the scroll wheel is because it's very random if you have an unlimited scroll and you scroll down it could swap your weapons and you accidentally pull out your sniper instead of your sub and it close range engagement and you die because of it i recommend getting used to numbers if you're really used to the scroll wheel there are some really good mouse and keyboards most notably lola who uses her mouse wheel still uh and is able to do really well so this isn't something that you have to change it's what i changed uh weapon mount uh i put this to z you know this feels really good for me however whatever key you don't use you can kind of put the weapon mount because it's not something that you really need to be messing with much i think the default bind for this is t uh weapon inspect i leave that on i fire mode is b if you want to change from single fire to automatic to first you do that all with b b is generally a button you don't use so i just left that to b uh melee i think that's regularly on mouse four i left that to v v is a very easy key for me to use for melee and i don't use it for anything else so i leave that on v my lethal equipment that's your throwing knives thermite simtex is frag grenades proximity vines play more stuff like that i leave that on middle mouse button as it's very easy to throw while aiming your mouse so try that out if you haven't already tried that it feels really good i like lethal equipment on middle mouse button and i've had that the same for a very long time my tactical equipment i actually have a default bind with q i like q for that but again these are all preference if you like mine you like mine if you don't don't feel like you have to change your mind field upgrade here is x and armor plate drop item is four this is generally defaulted to g however i recommend using one of your one two three or four key binds because g is a really weird thing to, to armor plate with i like four it feels really good for my hands but if your hands are a little smaller you may not like that the only other things you'll need to mess with down here are the map so i unbound caps lock i don't know who uses caps lock for their map if you do you do if you don't unbind that because you you may accidentally click that while in combat trying to click shift um and then m left that on on regular ping is f this is a really big key and if you haven't used um f for ping before if you don't use f for your interact try f for pinging because it's great to be mid combat and easily switch from w to your f key with your pointer finger and just bind someone or ping someone while you're in the middle of a fight this is a great key bind to use for it the rest are just default you won't have to worry about any of these your push to talk key is whatever key you like more i use my mouse forward button but let's head into our gameplay section here um in the gameplay section this one's a very big category so for the gameplay here i actually don't change a lot of my settings we'll get through a few of them here but there are three that i want to hit on in this in this section but all the other ones you can kind of leave the same i can go, go ahead and just show you quickly if you want to pause uh but i should run through these slow enough to where you can get them as i'm talking about them crouch behavior should be toggle prone behavior should be toggle automatic sprint i like to leave off some people use automatic sprint to where as soon as you start moving your gun goes up and you automatically sprint uh, i just leave this off because i actually use single tap sprint here so sprint tactical behavior put that to toggle my single tap sprint actually feels great a lot of people run double tap or just single tap run i like single tap sprint to where i'm able to just hit my button twice and i'm just out it, it, uh, double tap i don't know this is a key bind that again you can go into the firing range and feel you maybe you like single tap maybe you like double tap these key binds i really recommend for mouse keyboard players because they are very easy to do once you get them down i like single tap sprint let me know what you guys like down below so open backpack on sprint i'll leave that on on that may be a default bind make sure you leave that on on though because that's really big once you're getting shot at if you're in someone's backpack or just looting stuff on the ground this isn't really big anymore as there aren't backpacks but this is the same for crates or containers stuff like that uh when you're getting shot you want to be able to run out of that and not get stuck inside of your inventory uh that's a really good bind to have on my walk behavior is on hold you won't really have to mess with this we don't have a walk bind uh automatic airborne mount drill you put that on partial next one is off on independent grounded mantle this is a big one i leave this on on uh if you find yourself mantling things without actually trying um or when you you're on top of a building and you accidentally mantle over the side and jump off i would turn it off but on it makes it a lot easier to move around the map so past that we have the slide dive activation i left on an independent the next parachute automatic behavior make sure you turn this to off i see a lot of beginner players or people that just don't really you know 
try to mess with their settings a lot not really touch this one this one's big because if you have it on or always or free for all or whatever uh you're gonna end up being really high in the sky when you pull your parachute and people are gonna easily be able to kill you i get hundreds of kills a week from people not pulling their shoot properly so i would leave this on off and make sure you don't spot on the ground because that is a big thing you won't have to mess with move advanced settings here uh ads i do hold uh change to activation i do melee focus hold equipment behavior is hold uh so you know like when you pull out a you know lethal cover or something you can actually just hold it out and aim when, when you're trying to find your target so say you're inside of a stairwell and someone's coming around you could hold a thermite out and wait for them to come you throw that at them easy peasy it's not just you know you tap it and it throws it uh, it's a lot easier to use with hold weapon mount is toggle all of these arrests should just be default binds on ads melee on toggle apply all this one's a big one if you don't this one's actually not default too so you will need to change this setting it'll probably be apply one when you put in one armor plate if you put it on apply all it'll actually put all of them in and you can cancel it by sprinting out of it or just clicking your armor plate button again uh this is a very big one to have on though because you don't want to put one plate in at a time and take a really long time to heal up when someone could be pushing you you know you lose a little bit of time from that so quick for c4 detonation i use one by one even if you use grouped i find that this setting setting is actually just bugged it doesn't seem to work properly so i would just leave this on one by one you could try grouped but it really doesn't change that much i'm not gonna lie free look all the rest here should just be regular we got free look on always enabled long delay behind vehicle and melee and then double tap moderate moderate and hold so let's move on to our graphic settings here this is a bit really big category i mean this is the biggest category if you're probably here to fix your frames or get better frames or if you have a, a better system or a worse system to know exactly what frame rate and stuff that you should be at on your system what settings you should be using to get better frame rates this is the section you need to be in so first on display there's not much you need to change here i actually use borderless my 4090 prefers borderless depending on what graphics card you have so you could get a 4090 that likes exclusive more you get a 4090 that likes borderless more they kind of have a mind for their own for this kind of thing i figured out just through the frames that i get how smooth my game feels that my card actually prefers borderless my previous 3090 actually likes exclusive more i would recommend that you use exclusive if you don't know what your card prefers that generally will run better and it's just better for your system overall uh, but i am on borderless so the only other thing you're going to want to hit in this section is your nvidia reflex low latency put that to on plus boost everything else you could just leave default moving on to the quality section this is big sometimes your render resolution will be on 66 for some reason put that on 100 yours will probably say something different here if you're on a 1920 by 1080 monitor yours will say 1920 by 1080 once you put it on 100 uh mine says 2560 by 1440 because i'm on a 1440p monitor uh this will just be it needs to be on 100 regardless of what monitor you have upscaling sharpening leave that on fidelity fx cas uh, with 100 and this is big so turn ray tracing off that's not the big thing vram scale target that's the big thing this is actually the number one setting that i've changed recently that has made my frames and my game feel super super smooth uh, i prefer 70 yours may already be on 90 because actually in my previous video 90 felt good however i moved that down to 70 and it felt incredible you can feel this around a little bit you can go down to 60 or 50 uh, but 70 feels good for me that's usually what i recommend for people but you know feel around yourself 50 may feel better for you uh vram right shading turn that off and then the next one on off too this section is big every game has that details and texture section this is probably one of the things that you're here for for sure on my build i have a 4090 build my build is great i use high for both resolution and an isotropic if you don't have a really good build you can get away with using low normal or very low if you need to depending on what frames you're getting uh but again lower normal for one of these i use high depending on you could just load in change your settings mid game you will have to restart your game just try those out see what you think depth of field i use off detail quality level is low this isn't something that you need to mess with a lot of my settings are on low that aren't those texture resolution or an isotropic particle resolution is on normal this is big for when you throw thermite smoke grenades and stuff like that however if your pc isn't as good or you're on console something like that you could get away with very low or low just depending on what you need bullet impacts on persistent effects on those do not need to be on you could turn those off if you need to shader quality is on low turn it off for the on and texture streaming and then low for local texture streaming quality uh for the next setting there's all low and off so that's low off 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 low that's great for everyone's pc and this section doesn't make your game look that much better if you had them all turned on ultra so for the next section this is the last one i have tessellation to near i have volumetric quality to low we have the next one to off low and then water quality i've always used wave wetness it makes the water look better and it also isn't a big hit on your pc so try this out see what you think about it but it's all preference if you you like off i like wave wetness it is what it is uh for this next section here 
my field of view is on 120. If you don't know what field of view is, you can see on the right here, basically this is the picture that you're gonna get. So say you're standing in this hallway, right? You turn your FOV to 60, you're only gonna see that inside box. However, you're gonna see that end doorway a lot bigger than you would if you're on 120. So what it does is it gives you more POV, you know, you get a lot more peripheral, but your target gets further away. So if you've never experimented with your FOV, it may still be on 80. It definitely needs to be turned up from 80. I use 120. I would recommend you start off with 110 and move up in increments of two. You could also start from 100, move up in increments of two, maybe every game, every other game. When you get used to 100, then you get used to 102 and make your way all the way up to 120. It makes it a lot easier to see everything. You have the most, you know, benefit. You can do this on console now too, which is great. Uh, but it does make your targets harder to track because your target gets smaller. Once your view gets bigger, your target further away or close gets smaller. So again, go to 100, go to 110, work up by two, make your way to 120, or say you like 120, leave it on 120. The CDL pros use 120, so it's good. Um, ADS field of view, I leave that on affected. This is big. If yours is on independent, get that shit off right now. You do not want independent. It's a terrible setting. I played my first 25,000 kills in Warzone with independent on. It was a waste of my time. Use affected. Weapon field of view is default. Third person field of view is 90, and the vehicle field of view is default. The third person view, view uh, field of view being on 90 is big so make sure you turn that on world motion blur is off weapon motion blur is off if you have these on you got to get your eyes checked motion blur is awful and it, it just hurts your eyes you, you'll probably notice it if you have it on right now you're probably like oh my gosh i didn't realize that was on turn that off you definitely want that off film grain put that on zero you don't need that on and it's great for your pc to have it on zero uh and then these next two these are actually really big so you thought you were in a setting maybe that wasn't that big these are big first person camera movement and third person camera movement both need to go to least when you're jumping in or when you get hit by a precision or something your screen is going to be shaking twerking all over your face it's going to feel really good with that third person ads helmet camera off first person for the next one if you want inverted flash things on, this is a great setting. When you get flash grenaded, it goes super white. If that's too bright for you, turn inverted on. It'll actually make it black instead of white. That's really, really nice. Okay, so for our last settings, we have our miscellaneous. Audio would be a big setting, but I am on a dual PC setup. The only advice that I can give you here, I would not try to match any of my volumes. Or I mean, you could turn off gameplay music volume, cinematics, and war tracks because you don't need those. But in terms of master game volume and stuff, it's really going to depend on what headset you have. It's going to depend on if you're using a dual PC setup, if you're on console. The one thing that I can really recommend is using PC speaker and checking out Artist Wars Tune for your audio if you're on PC because it is a really, really big improvement on the game's audio. Other than that, there's not much in here that you could get other than the default settings lastly though there is a big setting here if you go inside of your interface you get a color customization i use mine on default however if you set it to different color by modes you can also change any of your you know teammates colors enemies colors you know flags color stuff like that this is big and if you're colorblind you could turn on the hard color palette lastly the crosshair setting is giant. You can see over here on the right, either you have it on or off, but your crosshairs being static is really big. It default, it'll be on. Move this to static. This is a very big one. Basically, when you're in, 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 in the environment looking around, you'll have your crosshair swaying back and forth. If you have it on static, there's no sway. It's a lot more visually pleasing. It's a lot easier to hit your opponents. It's a lot easier to find your opponents on static. So make sure you change this. This is a very, very big setting.